Another movie versus movie. Today we're going to be looking at Ant-Man versus Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, like I said, February is going to be filled with Marvel, MCU related content. We will probably go from um, probably on the 14th. I'm thinking that there's going to be something with DC. But we know DC from my channel is going to be all in March. So I cannot wait to go with that. But let's break down the first Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp. So the things that I'm going to break down in this film are characters, story, and overall like score so let's start off with the score easily the score is easily better in the first ant-man um it really just feels more natural i love the score in it um i really i really did it was really 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 well done and put together now let's break in oh then i forgot to say we'll also talk about the 4k transfers in both of these obviously you can tell one was meant more for 4k and then this was the remaster this came out obviously before but let's break down um this is going to be an interesting movie versus movie because I really do like both of these two. So let's break down the story. So you have Scott Lang, a retired or like, or a thief becoming Ant-Man. And then this, and then overall, then he's got to fight Yellow Jacket and you get introduced to Hank Pym. Uh, fuck, what's her name? Wa the Wasp too. But obviously it's more centered around Paul Rudd's character and how he's got a family and a daughter and that. And I really like this story. I really do. Now in this one, it's Ant-Man and the Wasp. So you have just, you have Ant-Man and you have the Wasp in this film taking on a villain known as Ghost and Goliath, I believe that's who um, Lawrence Fishburne played. I haven't seen this movie in a bit. I kind of want to rewatch it, but I like that, that slipcover. It looks pretty dope, not going to lie. I really do. So what do I um, think of the story for this too? I'm going to be honest, I, I had fun with it, right? But I'm going to tell you that for winning the story overall, I like the first Ant-Man story a lot better. Now, the reason why I say that is the, I'm a big fan of heist films, and that's what the first Ant-Man really felt like, more of a heist film. But it's more character-driven around Scott. It's an Ant-Man film. This is more of a Wasp film, not going to lie. It's got Ant-Man who like kind of seems... Scott Lang is a really smart fucking character. We know this from this and uh, Endgame. But in Ant-Man and the Wasp, he seems a little more dumber. Um, and it kind of shows that, like, the character of Hope being more smarter than that. And I guess that's whatever. But it's supposed to be Ant-Man's movie. That's why I'm kind of nervous for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I hope it's just... Let Ant-Man fucking have fun with it. Because he didn't... Inc I love Paul Rudd. I fucking always love Paul Rudd. I'm glad he joined the MCU. But he is incredible in this film. Now we're about to go into characters. So we know one point for Ant-Man zero right now so characters um ant-man or paul rudd scott lang and uh michael douglas as hank pym way stronger in this film however in this film we get introduced to more characters and i actually think for character wise i think ant-man we're gonna it's hard because i really like evangeline uh lily's character in this and i like michael, michael douglas character and i liked uh uh fuck michelle pfeiffer's character too of being uh, mrs pym i forgot her name and i like Lawrence fishburne a lot in it but the villain the two villains mainly the one with the um, who was from uh, i fucking forgot he's the one mobster in there he kind of just fell flat for me but i really liked it's hard guys i it's hard. It really is. Because I really like a lot of these characters, but I know Scott Lang is way better in his first Ant-Man film. And I'm going to have to go with... Eh, oh, this is hard. This is hard. On my old channel, I rated Ant-Man and the Wasp about a 7 out of 10. And I always thought the first Ant-Man film was a solid 8.5. I'm going with Scott. Uh, I like the first Ant-Man is stronger with characters, score, and story. So... Honestly, which one wins the movie versus movie of today? It's Ant-Man. It really is, guys. And But I'm not saying that, like, compared to Spider-Man Homecoming versus Far From Home, that this is a shit film. I'm not saying that. This is a really good, fun film. It really is. It's it's kind of like a more relaxing film. I remember this came out after uh, Infinity War, and I really, it was more of a relaxed kind of film. And I really liked it, though, guys. It's a really fun movie. Go check both of these out. It's just hard. As a movie quality standpoint, the first Ant-Man's better. Now, let's break down the 4K. So, we get a 2.34 aspect ratio on both of these films. So, we get HDR and Dolby Atmos on both of these uh, two films. 
Now, I'm going to be honest, if you're looking for more coloring pop or like color pops and stuff like that, you're gonna want you're gonna get that more in Ant Man and the Wasp. I'm not gonna lie, you really are. It's a lot of more of quantum style, so you're gonna get these nice vibrant colors that take care, like take your 4K to the next 4K TV to the next level. But if you want to go with more of a just like a more standard to pro, or like approach, the Ant Man movie on 4K when I watched this remastered, it really looks really fucking good. It really does. So I honestly think that both of these films look incredible on 4K, actually. If I had to rank which one looks better on 4K, I would think because of more colors and more of the picture quality in this film, it's going to look a lot better because of the quantum realm in that. So I think Ant-Man and the Wasp wins more uh, looking better on 4K, but this film looks really good on 4K as well. And the fight scenes with um, Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket, but Giant Man look really fucking cool in this one too. But overall, I think both of these films look really good on 4K. I think these are two strong films, although I think the first Ant-Man is a lot better. But thanks for watching, guys. So let me know your thoughts below. Do you agree with my list? I hope you do. Um, or do you guys like the first Ant-Man uh, better, like I said? Or do you like it? Or do you like the second one better? And I'm a little, I'm excited, a little bit nervous because I kind of want, I just want Scott to take the front center of the third one, but I have a feeling they're going to make his daughter into like an ant type character or like the, like a wasp type character. So we'll see, but thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one.